world and around the world. He's the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show. And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends, Stinky and Jay. Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Jake. And I am Stinky. And today we're going to meet one of the smartest animals on the entire planet. Well, uh, thank you, Jake. Not you, Stinky, the dolphin. Oh, well, what makes dolphins so smart? Well, dolphins have a very large brain and use more than 40 different sounds to communicate. 40 different sounds? Mm. What good is that? Well, dolphins can use those sounds to communicate with each other and even with people. People? Why would anybody want to talk to people? Well, they are part of the animal kingdom. Well, just barely. And you have to admit that the smaller ones are really kind of nice. Oh, well, you mean kids. Yeah, they are cool. Yeah, right. Anyway, as I was saying, dolphins are considered one of the smartest animals on Earth. But smarter than skunks? Uh, I'm afraid so, Stinky. Uh, after all, they can make 40 different sounds. Well, I can make 40 different sounds. <laughs> That's one. We'll be right back after this. Shama Shama! That's two. <laughs> and now it's time for... That's amazing! Today, we visit the world's largest bat cave. Look at all those bats! Whoa. They're flying out of their favorite home, a cave in Texas. Hey, you in a good old U.S. of A there? Right. Yes. This one bat cave is home to more than 23 million bats. Hey, that sounds like a great place to hang out. <laughs> 23 million bats living in one cave. Hey, another animal fact that'll make you say, That's amazing! Ooga! <laughs> That's 14, 14 different sounds. Stinky, why are you making those sounds? Well, if I can make 40 different sounds... Like a dolphin? I'll be as smart as they are. Cluck, cluck! That's 15. <sighs> now, here's our next guest all the way from the world's tropical oceans, <gasps> Fluke the Dolphin. Whoa. Oh, oh that, that's right. Uh, a fluke lives in the water, so he's in a tank over there. So could you just push him in, Stinky? Well, if he's so smart, why can't he push it in himself? <sighs> Stinky. All right. Here's Fluke the Dolphin. <laughs> Heavy. Yeah. Well, well, I much prefer the open ocean, but this isn't bad. Not bad in the least. Hello, Fluke. Oh. I'm Jake. And I am Stinky. Oh. Boop, boop, dee doop. Oh. Seventeen. <laughs> you are trying to make 40 different sounds like we dolphins. Very droll. Uh, what did he say? I told you dolphins were smart. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. We dolphins do try our best. Let me elucidate. Lucid? What is he talking about? <laughs> I will show you. You see, as Jake was saying, we dolphins have quite a large brain, and we are very well known for helping each other. Why, we have even been known to help humans who have been injured in the water. Do dolphins always swim together in groups like that? Oh, yes. That is what we call a school of dolphins. Oh, now I get it. Dolphins are so smart because they go to school. <laughs> no, Stinky. A school of dolphins is what we call a group of dolphins. Oh, I knew that. Mm. Dolphins are also great acrobats, aren't they? Oh, yes. We can be rather graceful in the water. See, even very young dolphins have a natural ability to do somersaults, backflips, and even dance across the water on their tails. Whoa, I want to see more tricks. Uh, in a minute, Stinky Fluke. I noticed that dolphins seem to spend almost as much time above the water as under it. Oh, yes. That's because we are not fish and can't breathe underwater. Dolphins are mammals, so we have to come up for air several times every minute. Oh. But if I have to, I can hold my breath for seven minutes. Yeah, well, seven wow. minutes, that's great, but when are we going to see some more tricks? In a moment, Stinky. First, I want to tell you about echolocation. You see, echolocation just means that we send out a sound like this, then wait for the echo of that sound to come back to us. Oh. Our dolphin brains can then tell us what these sounds mean. It might be danger, or... It might be dinner. Mm hmm So you use an echo to locate where things are. Precisely. That is echolocation. Yeah, echolocation. Okay, hello! 
It won't work for me. Oh, only certain animals can do it, and I'm afraid skunks aren't one of them. Oh, yes, but I can do this. Zut, zut, zut. That's 18. Oh, very good. But perhaps now you'd like to see some more dolphin tricks? Oh, yes, oh, yes we, we sure would. would. Yes, uh, please. Oh. Now, let's see. Oh, these are your super-duper inverted corkscrew flips. Oh, wow. I think I know what this one is. Yes? Yep, here it comes. A double reverse belly whopper. Right. This is my favorite. A tail end backflip in slow motion. Mm. Oh, beautiful. Just beautiful. Fluke, you dolphins are smart and talented, too. Yeah, that was just great, Fluke. Mm. Thank you, Stinky. Or as we dolphins say, glub, glub, glub. Ah, glub, glub, glub. That gives me 20 sounds. 19. Uh... Thanks for being here, Fluke. And now maybe you'd like to see another animal who uses echolocation. Oh, my, yes, I'd like that. Then watch these bats on Baby Talk. Okay, I'm here, I'm here. You're not gonna leave me, are you? Well, I might have to go to get some food. Oh, no, Mom, no, Mom. Oh, it'll only be for a moment. You'll be okay. I don't want you to go. Look, none of the other kids are making a fuss. I want my mom. I want my uh, mommy, too. <laughs> my mom. Nobody's alone. There are millions of us in here. Now, you kids just stick together. I'm just gonna get some food. You just watch out for your brothers and sisters. All right? Okay, I'll be back soon. Okay, bye. Oh, my sister, what, what, what am I going to do? My mom, I want my mom. Oh. If we can't even recognize each other, how are our moms going to recognize us? Oh, come on. Mothers always recognize their own babies. Don't they? Up. No, Stinky, Mommy and Daddy Bats can find their own babies by listening to their calls. Oh, you mean this kind of call? Ooh, very good. Just 20 more sounds and I'll be as smart as a dolphin. Well, listen to this. It might give you some ideas. Isn't that 21? Oh, no, 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 definitely 22. Hmm. <laughs> 23. Uh, hello, Tizzy. Ready for a quiz? Mm. Ready? Sure, I'm already more than half as smart as a dolphin. Here it is. What is making those fish jump into the nets? Give it a think. Back in a buzz. Stinky. Jake. Been busy? Nini, 23. Oh, never mind him. What was the question again? Here it is. The question is, what is driving these fish into the fishermen's nets? The answer is dolphins. Dolphins swim up and help herd these fish into the nets. Believe it. Dolphins only help fishermen fish in one place, on an island off West Africa. And it only happens at one time of the year, in November. The fish that they catch are called mullet. 
Look at all those mullet fish leaping around out there. Once a year, large numbers of mullet fish swim in towards the shore. When the fishermen see them, they beat the water with poles. The dolphins hear the fishermen and swim in. When the mullet fish see the dolphins, they swim in even closer to shore, straight into the fishermen's nets. So it's dolphins on one side, fishermen on the other, and mullet in the middle. The fishermen get lots of fish, and so do those dolphins. Because when there's mullet in the middle, there'll soon be dinner on the table. Gee, dolphins can do a lot of neat things. So can bats. Well, what can a bat do that a dolphin can't do? Hang upside down. Oh. Just ask Eve St. Laurent. Mm. Ah, bonjour, bonjour, you cute little animals out there. You are probably wondering, what is Yves Saint Laurent doing upside down? Good question, mes amis. Well, today I have received many letters from all you little bats out there about eating upside down, and I simply must respond to them. The one bad thing about eating upside down is it's very tough to reach your food. The, ah, see what I mean? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> You see what I mean? Ah, well, bon appétit. And remember, if you have bats in your belfry, watch out for falling forks. <laughs> oh, oh, Baba Ganoush! Baba Ganoush! Baba Ganoush? Yeah, that's 29 different sounds. I'm getting smarter. I don't know what to say. Well, how about pop? 30. Well, before you go any further, let's get our next guest out here. Uh, I'm, yeah. uh, I, I don't understand why she's not here, really. Well, uh, hmm? Looking for me? Yay! Ha, that's 31. Please welcome from the rainforest, Leia the Fruit Bat. Wow, are you a real fruit bat? Hey, I've got the wings, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, do bats only come out at night? Well, bats are night creatures, but just look at us fruit bats. We sometimes fly during the day, see? Mm -hmm. And you fruit bats don't bite necks? Oh, who wants to eat necks when you can eat fruit? Now, is that why they call you a fruit bat? That's one reason. Uh -huh. Another reason is that when we hang upside down, we kind of look like pieces of fruit. Oh. Is it hard for you to hang upside down like that? Hanging isn't hard for a bat, but finding an empty branch can be tough. Those trees can get pretty crowded. Hmm. Now, look at all those food bats. How many of you hang out together? Oh, there can be 10,000 or so in a group, give or take a 100. Wow. Whoa, Fruit Bat City! <laughs> yeah, being a fruit bat is a great life. Unless you're the last fruit bat to get to the tree, it's wing to wing up there. You've got to be careful or you might land on another bat. Uh, say, Leah, are there other kinds of bats beside fruit bats? Oh, yes. We have lots of batty relatives. Although I must say, none of those other bats are quite as good looking as we fruit bats. Mm, but it certainly seems that they all like to hang upside down. Oh, hanging upside down is the best way to sleep. You really should try it, Jake. Uh, uh, maybe some other time. Say, look at that bat. She's got a baby. That's a Corolia bat from Central America. They're very devoted to their babies, but that doesn't stop them from looking for food. Well, do all bats eat fruit like you do? Oh, no, most bats eat insects. On purpose? That's right. And then there are bats like this one that eat leaves and other plants. This Corolia bat is eating a popper plant. See how the stem sticks up? Yeah. Well, that makes it easier for the bat to grab her food. You, you mean the plant actually helps the bat? Right, because the bat eats the plant and helps to spread the seeds. Mm. And that grows more plants, right? You are very smart. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, 32. Oh. Mm. And some bats, like this one, eat fish. They use echolocation to spot the fish. Do you know what echolocation is, Stinky? <clears throat> yes, echolocation is when an animal uses an echo to locate things. Very good, Stinky. It's a gift. Whoa, look Whoa. Oh, oh, uh, Well, uh, and now, Leia, I believe you're going to sing a song for us. Oh, this isn't going to be one of those spooky, scary bat songs, is it? 
No, it's about the rainforest. And if we don't save the rainforest, fruit bats and other animals may not have a place to live. Whoa. Now that's scary. Mm. Well, here's Leia with the fruit bat song. Mm. Don't chop that tree, it's hung to me. I need that fruit to eat. Don't clear that hill, it's a forest still. It ain't no city street. I'm just a bat and come to that. Don't hang about in town. With all my friends, we've days to spend just hanging upside down. Take a breeze through the trees. You boogie through the night, if you please. As I fly through the sky, it's chop chop, watch that big tree fall. Chop chop, green and proud and tall. Chop chop, nothing left at all. Take that tree, it's home to me. Don't haul away those trunks. It's not just me who needs a tree. It's birds and bees and fleas and skunks. And no one knows where ozone goes. But we've all got to try. Or we'll all disappear right through a hole right through the sky. Goodbye. Thank you for the song, Leah. Yeah, and good luck with the rainforest. Why, thank you, Stinky and Jake. Well, do you know what's next? Yes! Hawk! <sighs> 33. Will you stop that? Oh, time to announce the Animal Awards. I think you just did. Oh. Today's Animal Award is for the fastest swimmer. So let's dive in. Hey, hey, wait, wait a second, I can't swim. <sighs> Which of these is the fastest swimmer? Oh, the blue marlin. Hey, the penguins. Oh, look how fast they are there. Oh, are the orca. Hey. Ooh. In third place is the penguin at 25 miles per hour. In second place, the orca at 45 miles per hour. And the winner is the blue marlin at 60 miles per hour. Way to go. Ooh, ka-ching, ka-ching. What number sound was that? 38. Mm. I am now almost as smart as a dolphin. Oh, really? Well, did you know that bats like to eat from flowers? I said almost. Well, listen to this. <sighs> Once upon a time, there were four bats who always hung around together. Matt, Pat, Tat, and Nat. What should we do tonight, Matt asked Pat. Let's play stick your head in the flower, said Pat. Me first, me first, said Tat. And she flew in and stuck her face right into a flower. My turn, said Nat. And he stuck his face so far into a flower that the others thought he was stuck. Then Pat went. And then Tat went. And then Nat took a really long turn. Well, the only bat who didn't get a turn at all, no matter how hard he tried, was Matt. Everyone had noses covered in pollen and tummies full of nectar except Matt. When they flew back to the cave, Matt said, Don't I get a turn? Sure, said Nat, but only if you beat me back to the flowers. They raced, and Matt won. The end. Ooh. So, Stinky, did you know that bats helped flowers to grow? No, but just thinking about all that pollen on my nose makes me sneeze. Achoo! 39. <laughs> cool. Oh, hello! It's habitat time! Come on up, Armstrong! No, I, I look stupid. Oh, you do not yes, you look I do. fine! No, I look... You I, look lovely! I, I look stupid in this now, thing. Today, we are going to visit the warmer seas around the coast of the Americas. You love the sea, Armstrong. The sea? Mm-hmm. As in under the water? That's right! Oh, I'll eat tapers and chicken hawks do above the water. They don't do under the water. They do now! <laughs> uh, I don't swim, I, I, I sink. Good, because we're going to the bottom of the sea. Help me. <laughs> oh, just look at that ocean, Armstrong. Doesn't that make you feel so peaceful? Yeah, it makes me feel seasick. Don't worry. The Galapagos Islands are in the warm waters of the Pacific Ocean. They're teeming with weird undersea wildlife like that cuttlefish. Yeah, I'll say. 
Hey, hey, well, look at that thing. That's not a fish. Look, it's... What is that? I don't... Let's go take a closer look. Uh, let's see it. Oh, hey, oh of course! Uh, that's a... Uh, it's a dragon! It's an underwater dragon! Run for your lives! Women, children, and a uh, chicken hawk's face! Armstrong! Run. That's uh, not a dragon. It's what? a marine iguana. Oh, and yeah? the Galapagos is the only place in the world where you can find marine iguanas. No kidding. And they see algae that grow on rocks and coral. Huh. <gasps> Oh, and those are... Uh, um, surfers, right? Uh, a... uh, no, those are sea lions. Oh, they yeah. live around the Galapagos Islands, too. Oh, uh, how totally gnarly. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the creatures here in the ocean eat fish, and there are certainly plenty of these fish around. Yeah, we'll probably even see some sharks. Sharks? Help, mm. I'm going back to that dragon here. Uh, <gasps> oh. Oh, look, he's coming close. Yeah. Hey. Armstrong, calm down. Sharks may look scary, yeah. but most of them are quite harmless if you don't bother them, and if they're not hungry. Uh, how can you tell if the shark's hungry? Uh, I don't know. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's a, a school of dolphins. Oh, yeah? Well, what grade are they? <laughs> they're, they're going pretty fast. They must be late for school. <laughs> uh, oh, and uh, who is that? That's a manatee. Manatees are also known as sea cows. Moo. <laughs> Moo. <Mo. laughs> and those are sea otters. Moo. <laughs> Moo? They're otters. Oh, oh I, I thought you said udders. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and of course, you know the dolphin. Oh, sure. Hey, uh, any guys know Fluke the Dolphin there? <laughs> no? <sighs> oh, gee, oh, I, I was, was just wonderful. getting into the swim of things. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Shame. Well, huh? that's all for this Habitat Time. This is Ollie the Tape here. And I'm trying to chicken hack. Just back from the wonderful seas around Australia. Yeah, and looking for a towel. Oh. It's time for a tizzy quiz. Oh, boy. See, I knew that, Jake. See, I'm smarter already. <laughs> Here's the questions. Like this, climb a tree like that, give it a think, back in a buzz. Zzz. Do you know the answer? Do you know the question? Zzz. Of course. The question is can bats climb trees? And here's the answer. Thank you, Tizzy, for another fine quiz. And thank you, Ollie and Armstrong. Bye! Yeah, take it easy. And you too, Eve. Au revoir. And a special thanks to Leah the Fruit Bat and Fluke the Dolphin. And to all you animals out there, until next time, keep on flapping, swimming, hopping, and saying, zoing, zoing. That's it. That's 40. I did it. You see? Say goodbye, Stinky. I was 41. Goodbye. Uh -huh. Goodbye, Stinky. So long.